In other news this morning, the future of water fire in Providence seems a lot more stable this morning. That's because state and city leaders say that they are committing $600,000 to make sure this tradition continues. And reporter Kayla Fish is joining us now with a closer look at where the money is coming from and when we may see the return of water fire. Well, organizers of the iconic art installation downtown said Water Fire's future was in serious jeopardy after Providence City Councilors rejected a proposal to provide funds to Water Fire last week. The organization went into debt during the pandemic and approached city and state leaders for help with funding. Yesterday, the city council reversed course and pledged $300,000 from the city's federal relief money. Another $300,000 would come from the McKee administration. That announcement coming at last night's Commerce Board meeting. A key reason why we aim to invest in Water Fire, given this board's support, is to catalyze economic activity for Providence and for Rhode Island more broadly. Water Fire's managing director tells 12 News it'll take about two months to hire staff and get infrastructure reinstalled in the river which means the first lighting could be in September at the earliest. Live in studio this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News. Other top story this morning, state and city leaders pledging $600,000 to support water fire in Providence amid concerns the popular art installation would not be able to return. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish is joining us now to break down the numbers and how this will impact the capital city. Well, water fire draws thousands to the capital city each and every year, providing a huge economic boost to businesses, not only throughout Providence, but the surrounding areas as well. And that's why the City Council and State Commerce Department pledged yesterday to support the organization. Commerce Secretary Stephen Pryor said they'd provide $300,000 to water fire, with $150,000 coming from a discretionary fund and the rest from the Commerce Department's budget pending board approval. The City Council will also be giving water fire $300,000 in federal relief money, reversing a decision made last week by the Council's Finance Committee, which rejected a request for funding. Council President John Igliozzi says they've heard loud and clear that water fire helps spark the economy, a sentiment echoed by the Commerce Secretary. We've heard from many small businesses in greater Providence that they rely upon water fire as a driver of customer traffic. The decision to fund water fire comes as Providence City Councilors continue to hammer away at the budget. Residents have a chance to weigh in on the city budget during a virtual hearing that's happening later today. But if you'd like to testify, you have until 1 p.m. to sign up. Live in studio this morning, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.